Hi kids, I'm Miss Cindy and I'm excited to share another music adventure with you today. But first, I have a question. Did you make a snowman this week? How awesome was that? I hope you took lots of pictures. You may not see this much snow in Memphis again for a very long time. But back to our music adventure. Did you try making water chimes at your house last week? It was so much fun to experiment with them and to hear the different musical pitches that they made. Do you remember what song I played on both the piano and the water chimes last week? That's right! Oh, how I love Jesus! Maybe you figured out how to play it yourself. Did you notice that sometimes the notes move higher and sometimes they move lower and sometimes they just stay the same? Let's use our hands to help us understand how the music moves. We'll start with our hands on our shoulders like this. And when the music goes lower, our hands will move lower like this. And when the music goes higher, our hands will just move higher like this. Now, can you stand up and sing and move with me? Let's give it a try. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus, oh, how I love Jesus, because he first loved me. Great job! Let's try it again a little faster. Can you do it? I know you can. Here we go. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Now you probably learned that song by hearing it over and over several times. But did you know that when people learn how to read music symbols, they can play or sing songs that they have never ever heard before. This is what the melody of this song looks like using music symbols. Now we talked about the rhythm of notes last fall. We can see quarter notes and half notes and dotted half notes. Do you remember how many beats a quarter note is held? That's right, one beat. Now how about a half note? Two beats. And a dotted half note? That's right, that dot gives it one more beat, so it has three beats. You have a really good memory. Knowing the rhythm of notes is very important, but we also need to know what pitch or how high or low to play or sing each note. And that's where the music staff comes in. A music staff looks like this. It has lines. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, and do you know what we call the spaces in between the lines? That's right, they're called spaces. That's easy, isn't it? Let's count the spaces. One, two, three, four. Now, have you noticed something hmm, a little unusual in this room? Yep, I don't usually keep a ladder in my living room. But I wanted you to see that the music staff is a little bit like a ladder. The steps are like the lines and the spaces well they're like the spaces now when your parents climb a ladder they start at the bottom and they go up to get higher right so if i hold a basketball by this step and a soccer ball by this step which one is higher well the soccer ball of course now how about now the basketball is higher what about now? They're both lower, right? But the basketball is still higher than the soccer ball. What if I did this? Now they're on the same level, aren't they? Now let's look at some pictures of balls on a music staff. When you look at a music staff, think about a ladder. Which ball is higher on this music staff? That's right, the basketball. Which ball is higher on this staff? 
the soccer ball. Oh, you guys are so smart. Now listen, which one is lower on this music staff? It's the basketball. And which one is lower now? The soccer ball. They're very close, but the soccer ball is lower. Now how about on this staff? They're on the same space. So they would be exactly the same pitch. Now let's look back at our staff with music on it. You can see that some of the notes are higher on the staff than others. So the higher the note sits on the staff, the higher the pitch. The lower the note sits, the lower the pitch. The music staff tells us exactly which pitch to play or sing. Now we'll learn more about the music staff next time. For now, I want you to find this high or low page that's in this week's treasure pack. Follow the directions to color in the notes and then show your parents what you've learned. You are off to a great start learning about God's gift in music. Remember to keep singing praises to Jesus. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.